You never really know what he's going to do next. It's prog time. Prog time. Okay, listen. I guess he's A-B testing. Have you all seen the new prog? How are you? The new prog thumbnail. That shit is fucked up. I don't want to see that. I don't like it. You're not doing anything right. <laughs> you max seed me, buddy. <laughs> On progression, progression series, series season, season two. two. Oh, this man, has been a dude. slog. Oh this my has been God. a slog. Why has it been? I feel like I should have won this game like a million turns ago. Baylor. Oh, well, I lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, man. I was like, oh. <laughs> So so he hard. was so greedy! Was in this oh, series, shit, we both Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs for All right, uh, what's, what's, it, what's his name? Um, set. We will MBTU build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a Frame small prize to upgrade the deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released, moving in chronological order. Constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introduced side sets, um, a new banning US system, DM and plenty of other um, fun surprises really that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. Scottish Bonobo, thank you for the 7. Uh, Mero... 92, thank you for the 10. Whack Whack, thank you for the 4. Uh, Elcha, 28, thank you for the 7. If you want 5% off uh, going down swinging, thank product, you for the gifty. click the affiliate links in the description and use code CMO5. And clicking the TCG player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more uh, amazing content. NA Urborg Mage, thank you for the uh, 4. CG Alex, thank you for the 48. Kaviki Machias, thank you for the 17. Malcolm Mood, thank you for the 11. Uh, Lumikaya, thank you for the 13. IDGA Fox, thank you for the 4. Well, and ladies and gentlemen, the battle of light and dark versus Borman, the elements the sub. paid Give off in CCC, our favor because we're in the winner's circle. Just some we're jaw, two winning streak, and most importantly, we get to spin the wheel at the start of the episode. Please, anything except a redo or ticket. I have plenty. Anything else? Ooh. Oh, that's pretty damn good. So because we spun a secret rare wild card on the wheel today, we're allowed to take any card from Legendary Collection 5Ds, which was the previous okay. episode. And I think there's one so card in particular I'm going after. There's a few decent ones in the secret rare slot, like Colossal Fighter, Crimson Blader, and such. Yeah, the synchros are good. we're going to go down onto the ultra rares here. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and nab myself oh! a third copy of Max C. I was looking at the historic limited chart, and uh, it looks like Max C stays at three. All the way until about 2016, we're at the end of 2014 here, which means we're probably going to get to use th our three maxi versus gauges two for several episodes. And I think that's going to give us a distinct advantage moving forward. So let's lock that in and we'll throw it over to Gage so we can tell you all about today's set, the new challengers. And just as quickly as I had the lead... I had to let it go already. I really, really hate dropping the Age of Gage as soon as it has uh, yeah, started. Yeah, tweet is I felt is, uh, really, is really up. confident the last few episodes, but Alex, he finds a way. He finds a way, I'll tell you. His Shadal deck, I don't even want to say it's fierce. It looks like Brick City, but somehow he finds a way to make it work. I'm going to come in today a lot more prepared. I think I have some strategies. I don't know how I've played Dragon Wars every single time, and I swear I have like a two out of eight streak going on with it. It's yeah, bad. it's Maybe it's we'll one of his losingest decks of all time, today. despite something the fact that it's clearly reliable. like the we'll most powerful. We'll look into that after we open up the set today. The new challengers, released November 6, 2014. This set actually Never. has a couple of really cool things in it. Some stuff that has definitely stood the test of time, but Dylan some stuff that was only stayed. relevant really for a season, if you will. First things first is Herald of Arc Lights, a really sick super rare that is still it's played okay. today. Uh, just How's the volume level chat? Four that you can make uh, when it's sent the to the graveyard, down it some more. Yeah, you got it. Monster, a ritual spell, which is really sick. But the big thing is that it's like a macro cost. How's that? Is field, that better? It's also a spell trap or monster negate. Solid card all around, right? This is still probably the most long lasting card throughout the set. The next thing New Challengers gave us was the debut of really the I hope you got you two blooming onions. Deck. Shut the fuck up. Cleefort really focused on Pendulum summoning out some of these little dudes. Why does he have Miss Kobayashi's dragon made in the on the left there? One in particular. Wait, is that a woman with her boobie? out right this about that was really expensive for a while uh, it has the effect where when it was is that like a fab card or something you can special summon two more cleaves from the deck uh notably when you normal summoning the cleaves it like 
It's a put their attack GCG value player really, really small, Whoa. 1,800. But if you special summon them out the deck, they're still just as big as they were. So you can make some really wacky kind of like OTK lines. He's with gooning, this. This we gooning. Really That's their word. Because it played well with cards like Vanity's Emptiness and stuff like that. But I really couldn't tell you when the deck kind of just fell off the map. People are utilizing cards like Apocliffort Towers, where the colloquial term towers comes from. Um, right? It's actually called unaffected by everything, Unaffected by spells, traps, and by activated effects with any monster whose original level and rank is lower than this current level, which is, it's a 10. That's pretty much everything in the game. So now when you yeah. cards, that are like generally unaffected by stuff or they're just really difficult to get around people call them a towers on top of that you had some more burning abyss tcg exclusive support calcab alec were all right um one of the more notable ones was virgil okay i don't virgil actually need to know too much about this actually being kind of removal he's pretty cool too i think i just like the artwork of this guy here uh, and then rubik if anybody remembers back in the day this was one of the most like discussed cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. i think TCG yeah. exclusives are always very elusive, and yeah. people love to kind of like discuss Rubik had and discourse about attached what the effect could be. I remember people is were spoiling this pool? thing or like leaking it, and it was just completely wrong. Pool? All this card ended up being is it's oh, a level three tuner it? with the basic, um, what oh burning abyss stuff. Yeah. Everyone was saying this was gonna be like the best card in the game before it was revealed. Everyone's like, yo, they're getting a tuner, and it's gonna do all I these see. things. And in reality, oh, it didn't do anything. <laughs> Again, building more from the archetypes Jillian from the got last me set. We have like food. more Teller Knights I love here. Peruvian Trivern was food. really awesome. We used to live by a Peruvian to, uh, place when we lived in um in, hand. Definitely a really in, uh, sick in New York, in particular, and was a really we ate there a lot. Generic level four monster. And since then, uh, I haven't been able to find those sets, any really traps, good Peruvian food. Can Thank you for traps this. Or activate spells or traps. So I remember in some Shadal You're, builds, wow, it even has fries in it. Start your turn by normal summoning You're the loving wife. And then popping off from there was. And I'm the loving husband because I love. I don't know if we'll see much play with it, but Solemn Scolding was actually pretty niche too at the time i remember this card was played in most necroz decks and stuff like that being essentially a judgment where it has to be the yeah. only set card in your spell yeah, I trap. So I, 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 I'm, I'm playing it up for stream someone on stream said the other day they were like i love that joseph play. just uh, I still unapologetically like loves his wife and i'm like oh, i need to die back for a bit. the commons i'll go swift i need the, i need there to be uh, some sort of ambiguity most of my chat is valerie fawn is hot sexy attractive women we bring back watching because they think they have a chance despoto too still not the full breath of so and so i can't afford to lose that demo part of like season one right where this deck is playable and then there's some I'm other cheap sure things like ruffian rail car was pretty good to search out a level 10 earth for those i'm getting a lot of trees decks. in chat uh, ua power jersey is actually really strong no, i, know I think they're really attached to those ultra athletes maybe he picks that up again and then fusion substitute ended up being like a really broken card uh, in tandem with Zodiac strategies that would we so see, what that chance we would see do you have in the game. altogether there's a lot of really cool things to build off of, of this set in particular um, I, unfortunately they build upon strategies that are already established from the last set I don't really have anything cooking too much except a very very loose Shadal package with I have Shadal fusion and that's it I'm not quite as lucky as Alex um, today we'd have to get lucky and pull like Shekinaga as the fusion of choice this time around and maybe El Shadal fusion if we want to even see anything built off of that but I'm excited to open it today. I have to open, unfortunately, the loser packs, pity packs. I got three packs of... Okay, what National, is the shitty pack right now? National pack five. I feel like I opened this before, and I didn't get anything good. And I'm probably not going to get anything now. Three more packs of Astral pack five. Let's see what we get. Flip. Oh! Oh, my way. God! Very cool and ultimate rare. Unfortunately, very unplayable. I'm pretty sure I already have the entire play set, and we are way past Pot of Duality's Prime. Wow. Overworked. Library of the Heliosphere and Queen of Thorns. Nothing special there. Last pack, Abyss Pike. Okay, pretty cool. I, uh, again, not anything great. We'll just add Whatever. it to the collection. Not think twice about it. Let's we're get to the a big meet up in the Senate. Well, we're True. already starting off the episode strong. How much better could it get, right? 24 packs of the new challengers. There's one card in particular I'm really hoping we pull in the super rare slot. Let's flip up pack number one. It looks like we're only cow going cab. to a cow cab for the rare. But UA power jersey. If we ever want to play UA again, we're going to need those as well. Oh. Valerie Fawn is in this set. This is a card that Gage could utilize in his rank <clears> two <throat> beast strategy. So uh, definitely something I'm going to look out for today. The Cliff Fort's debut in this set, I'm sure Gage already talked about Valerie it. Valerie Fawn. I don't Fawn. think it's likely either of us will be playing these because stuff like That's Scout not what is that card is called. Disc is a secret. The, the archetype's just fairly high rarity. I just don't think it's going to happen. There's a super rare, although not the one that we are looking for, in Rescue Hamster. Neat little card. Rescue not as Hamster good as is Rescue so Rabbit, cute. Of course, but, it's uh, crazy to think card. it's that old. Fluffle Dog by the way. isn't a terrible pickup. I know that there are going to be some people in the comments yeah, that are Fluffle. for me to play some sort of like Fluffle Shadal he ain't gonna hybrid, do that. which, uh, you know, isn't completely off the table, but Shekinaga would be. He's, nice. uh, he's not. I don't really know if I'm he's not into it. Like I said, Shekinaga would be pretty tough, but if I don't get that, I'm not going to be too upset.
There's Cow Cab, the Alm Branch of the Burning You of all people the know the power of Fluffle and Sealed. A more lackluster. I think Doug we up pulling up like the, the 12th the the best constructed deck that he pulled uh, in Saga. Cow Cab and Alec here, which were okay. I think they're pretty bottom of the barrel. Oh, okay. Oasis of Dragon Souls is Oasis is neat. a very this good is generic like a card. Call of the Haunted, and it turns something into a worm type. Um, I always thought Clipper Launch was much, a weird actually. card. And then we also have, look, Valerie Fun. <laughs> Looking to pick up a couple copies of these. Cursed Bamboo Sword. This card's pretty crazy, actually. If it's sent to the graveyard, it adds any Bamboo Sword card from deck to hand. Definitely some silly things you can do with getting a Golden Bamboo Sword out the deck and pot reading if you already have the stupid uh, Wooden Bamboo Sword, Broken Bamboo Sword. Yeah, I mean, Virgil, Rockstar, the Burning Abyss. We did That's come out really with a really good. solid Burning That's Abyss. That's tough. Tool, Alex has banned Tour Guide from the Underworld, and it's not really a deck That's okay, that I would even attempt to build in that current state, right? I feel like Tour Guide's too important. Also sucks that I didn't get any Dantes, but we got Virgil, right? We got the rock star of the Burning Abyss. <clears throat> he looks cool. He looks really neat. Ooh, Apple Cleefort Towers to add to the Cleefort deck. I don't think I have any other moving parts for that at the moment. It is a shame. I got excited because I saw it was a fusion monster, but uh, unfortunately, it is first of the dragons. Interestingly enough, this card's sort of a win condition in and of itself. This card's but quite strong, sort of have to build but not for a while. Deck around it. Well, it's another purple card, although it's oh. not the one that we were looking for. Fright for Wolf isn't mm -hmm. terrible. Uh, a second Rescue Hamster, though. I really wish that was two of another super rare in this set. I shouldn't forget to talk about the Desk Bots. The Desk Bots were oh, terrifying in Gage's hands. Oh, Like from, uh, from Cleefort, uh, back when people played Cleefort with Trampolings. Season two. Oasis of Dragon Souls isn't terrible for what it's worth. I mean, granted, we have stuff like Call of the Haunted at 3, and back in the day, Satellar Knight was playing both, honestly. But uh, it's still a neat little pickup. Another super rare. I mean, I can't complain that we're not getting super rares. Uh, Fire Lake yeah, Fire Lake's a good card, but I don't really think I it's have strange the that core to support it feels like they're, neither of them are ever going to play Burning Abyss. Ooh, wow, a little bit past the halfway Ooh, point. Scolding's we finally good. got something else to look at. Solemn Scolding. Scolding's great. Cool card. I still think we have access to a we're lot play the better stuff at the moment here. Um, I think this was just a card of the times, really, right? It was mm. one that people were able to play at the moment, uh, but not anything, I think, long-term value, right? It's a cool card, though. Cheer Mole is so it. cute. This brings back memories. She's a me. sweetie. I like this card. All right, getting closer to the end. I have been super impressed Dragon. with two Seeker Rares, really good which recruiter, is just literally about above average. I haven't were gotten relevant. really anything else to look at, though. Whoa, is that first movement solo? I mean, that card's not bad, but are we going to play Melodious anytime soon? I'm pretty sure there's a really dumb Melodious lock, where, like, if you have two specific Melodiouses, your that opponent is correct. Just can't attack. Oh, you just need the one, I believe. Or something like that. Pretty annoying. All right, last two packs. Anything big? Tramplonix. This card was interesting, I think. What was the big Tramp thing with this? I think it was, like, you pendulum someone with this, and then you bounce, like, Tramplonix. Um, Trampo Links. Or something like that. So you can use it again the next turn. I don't really know Tramp exactly. Lonics. This card was played, I would though, never right? mispronounce a card. All right, last pack. Anything big? No, it doesn't look like it. I think we got two secret rares. I think that's all I got. That is all. Oh, and I got the super rare. Excuse me. I would never be. Uh, I, I would know. never I'm mispronounce really a card based on a big set. hat. Like I said, that's I what I'll say right now. I roll pretty hard and hit like Shadow. I can't believe she found this. this is and so even good. that doesn't like guarantee we have a working Shadal package. Mm. Um, everything else in this set's like okay at best. I think we might just keep this. We reroll. Uh, I, what? I no, you reroll this. I'd be looking for. Let me think for a second. Come on, there's. Yeah, I'm not too impressed by uh, having got some more challengers. And like I said, everything whatever. is to build off of what we pulled at the last core set. Um, and I don't think I pulled good enough on any of the archetypes to really be focused on trying to build those at the moment. <sighs> so I think we're just going to add this to the collection as it is. I think it's all right. And then we'll build something out of what we have. Let's see what that is. Apocalypse Tower is a terrifying card in uh, historic Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. But Let's see if he mentions Fluffle Bear. I think Klee is. Does he have um? Midfield is a sick yet? pickup. Again, if we do want to play Ultra Athlete eventually, which probably Ooh. won't be until we get like Dreadnought Dunker or even the better support much later on, uh, like the what is it, the, the coach or the captain or whatever, those cards are crazy. Uh, midfielder's still nice to have, though. Only a few packs left, though, and I gotta be honest, this hasn't been the greatest opening. Like I said, there's one super rare card I'm looking for in particular, but uh, let's see what else we can get in the last few packs here. Third to last pack, nothing crazy. We're getting plenty of Fluffle card zone. I think we're topped up on Power Jersey, so we're good there. Second to last pack. Oh, wow. my God. Yazi as a secret rare. Goalkeeper, okay, we're I keeping wish this. I had another midfielder, in all honesty, but Yazi's a pretty sick <sighs> secret for what it's worth, especially later on once we get, like, Mari Mari and such when we can actually take advantage of the uh, Yazi's that that huge. Yazi's enormous. That's an awesome secret rare. Let's see what we get in the last pack if there's anything great in the close. Another copy of Shell. Uh, Nothing shell. too great. I think we got I mean, pretty much uh, this is a really good. We this is a really good. I'm gonna think about this. 
So I'm taking a look at the set. Obviously, we wanted El Shadal fusion. That was like the big payoff here, right? Because then we have another fusion spell to access our combo. Oh, is he like Granted, so should all pill? He's gonna reroll for El Shadal. Another fusion spell at the end of the day, which is nice. We can recycle construct. It's hard to recycle the fusion spells. So that's what we were going for. But the rest of the supers are kind of whatever, in all honesty. The rares are sort of in the same category, aside oh, then from fuck like, it. specifically the UA cards. And I guess like Oasis <clears> and the Fluffle <throat> stuff is okay. The ultras aren't even that great either. Like Denko Seca would be crazy, but aside from that, everything. Everything else is just sort of yeah, whatever because we'll it's sort of locked into its particular deck. And even looking at the secret rares, the only other cards besides Yazi in this category that are good are Shek, which of course would be fantastic, and Dark Rebellion Exceeds Dragon. Like everything else, again, requires its own specific deck to play. So I don't know if I really want to respin this. I think I'm going to lock this in. I think okay. if I had like two copies of Construct this is a or like safe another lock. Winda, it might be worth it. My fear is that if I respin for El Shadal Fusion and let's say we win today's episode, Gage could just ban Construct. So then all of a sudden my Shadal strategy just sort of falls apart. I think I'd rather keep <clears> the Yazi because Yazi, once we get Destrudo, actually opens up a lot. And I think I'd rather have that banked. So let's get to building. Okay, I know the last time we took this deck into action, we ended up getting clobbered by Alex's Battery Men. Maybe clobbered... Oh. Uh. the right word. It was a pretty close game. I ended up getting super greedy with the soul charge and then get wiped away by honest. But I really feel like this deck has legs. It's got fists, if you will, right? <laughs> I like this deck. Uh, I think. Uh, some of the failings that we had with the last time we played is we didn't see our side deck cards right. Like if we saw Light Imprisoning Mirror against Alex's Battery Men, that was just GG on the spot. I think our side deck is super well equipped to deal with a lot of things, and if we could just see the cards, I think it would be a really easy win. I also think I did get super greedy with a Soul Charge, paying down to like 100 life points multiple times. It didn't pay off. I ended up getting demolished, right? But I feel like we can take this back into action today, and it might be really fun to try out. There's some new things to fiddle with that might be really cool. Kaiser Coliseum is still a card at three that we can actively play with, then uh, it could really screw up Alex's wide strategies. He's been playing Shadal combo to summon the baby dragon dragons and stuff like that so maybe just limiting them to one board space would be able to change the course of the game Rota is at three um despite what this says right here Rota is at three that's kind of crazy right like this was just a in retrospect a huge mistake from konami i think noble knights had just gotten some new support and they're like yeah this will make them playable but all it did was really give necroz an easier way to search lossless and then um that's all it ended up doing before it got limited again but for us we can play a battle boxer right like now we have more ways to search our switch hitter or more ways to search our headgear and jump the glass jaw this is pretty good for us this is solid and then paired up with a couple of decent just trap cards here i think we're sitting pretty for a game one and in game two things will get grindy once we can put in the light imprisonings shadow imprisonings whatever that we need to if you play zone rank four deck we still have the xyz universe and now we also have Felgram to be able to make with the uh, the xyz universe which is even more scary right that's super interesting I actually done playing the rank up magics before, so I think I might put those back in. Just gotta think about what I want to cut to be able to fit this in. Um, it did come up a couple of times, right? Being able to make Silent Honor Dark was unbelievable. Uh, I still think being able to summon Ragna Infinity is game changing too. We'll see how this works out. I might regret this. I'm gonna cut a Book of Moon, a Photon Thrasher, because we have all these rotas to be able to search out any of our modal pieces that we need. And I got one more card I gotta cut. Ooh, and I missed the, or maybe I just play two. You know what? I'll just play two with quick chaos. That's probably fine, right? I got two XYZs, some summon with quick chaos. I got two quick chaos. That, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. So we're bringing the fist together with Balan Monsters. I think our deck has been infinitely built better than Alex's. Uh, Balan Monster strategy. If he chooses to take that, uh, having the quick chaos is an easy way to be able to make guys out his own lead yoke. And lead yoke is still just a pain in the ass to deal with RN too, especially backed up with Kaiser Coliseum. I'm hoping every single time that I played this card, Alex has also played the super low to the ground strategy that doesn't really commit too much or go super wide. I'm hoping this comes up today. That's the dream, right? Hopefully it matters. Um, I like this list. Let's see what Alex is brought today. Let's see if we can win. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no! <laughs> Fools! Oh. Did you not think that we were going to bring back Black Wings after convincing Gage to mutually unban them? What a moron. What a rube. He will rue the day that Kalut damage steps him once oh, again. Come on, dog. <laughs> I am so excited. We're going to put Gage into the banning with his biggest nightmare. Black Wings are back, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? It's 2014. 2014. But oh they're at full fucking power. Aside oh, from the fact power. that Gale isn't full at power. three yet, yeah. it just went to two. But Whirlwind's at three, and that's all that matters. So let's see if we can Kalut Gage into the sun once more. We've got three Blizzard, three Bora, two Gale, is, three Kalut, three He does Shiro, not learn any and lessons. One Sirocco. Sirocco's kind of a brick, which is why we're only on one. Dude, he's got kind two Gores! Holy so, honestly, shit! It's fine. However, we do get to play with the new Black Wings like Steam the Cloak. Steam the Cloak's pretty sick, because we can get it off of Shura. Oh, shit. It's a tuner. We can go into an Armor Master. Yeah, wait. We, don't, we haven't had Steam the cloak like yet. Leo, which is actually okay. pretty good depending on the circumstances. So I like this in here. Instead I could of something vibe like with this. Vibe was a little bit too slow. And then of course we have Dad and then double Gores. You might be. Can thinking you pick up for two seconds? Wolf. Sure. Hello. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. We can't hear you.
Waiting. Okay. Waiting. We can hear you now. Waiting. Waiting. We can hear you. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, next challengers. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the set with like the second wave of BA support or something. It's like 2014, right? Yes. Okay. So considering how me and Alex uh, are now best friends, right? Um, yep. I, I, I haven't tuned. I genuinely have not tuned into your uh, prog reacts in like months. Um, I, I, I haven't watched. Why? I just, I just, I just have a, a, a question. Why is there black links on the screen right now? Perfect. Why you don't see the vision. You don't understand it. You don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry that you can't tell that this shit is peak. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Please, I beg you, please tell me that this isn't, you know, uh, the thing where he did in season one, where he just played black wings for like 17 straight weeks. Please, please don't he's tell actually me. Has he been doing very this little black wings this season? Okay, okay. I'm excited to Did see he play this, this last week? Hmm? Did he play this last week? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. All right. Thank God. I, th I thought I was I, th I thought I was having, like, fucking time as a flat circle, like, <laughs> transformed through a fucking wormhole into, like, prog season one or something. I thought I <laughs> this is This is great. That's great. Okay. All right. Enjoy. What a nice young man. But honestly, we need some defense because this deck kind of sucks <laughs> otherwise. So we've got that in triple maxi to back us up. Of course, then we have the triple black world in paired with our brain con, dark hole, mind control, double MSC, I can't believe triple he's still duality, one this. pot of greed, and of course, soul charge. Gage, and the traps you're a just fool to have and any the, card with black wing in the name. Attack. The extra deck's kind of interesting. Aside from typical suspects like Alec Justice Cataster, we have Beals of the Diabolical Dragons. This just needs a dark tuner in order for us to summon. It's a level eight, and uh, it's a pain in the ass. If we summon this, Gage actually might not have an out. Of course, we have Black Rose. Yeah, wait we'll a minute. Blackwing a dragon. Not I'm getting pilled theme, on this. Because in case Gage gets the idea to play like Chain Burn or something, this actually is a way to like counter that. So I just like having that as a, as a precautionary measure. We, of course, have Silverwind, Armwing, and Armor Master. We're not playing Bayou, so it's not super likely we go into these, but uh, well, especially Silverwind. And these are more likely. But I believe, in any case, I we got Brio, we got Darken, we got Leo, we got Stardust. The fact that Simo hasn't played Black Wings in a month, but Farfa tunes know, in for the exact the episode side, it comes honestly, back is comically is funny. Playing, we can adapt for games two Literally and three. true. We've got Crow and Soul Drain for any graveyard-based decks. we got My Body in case he's on a ton of removal. We've got MST in case he's on more back row. We've got Bottomless in case we need some more removal. Same thing goes for Deep Prison. We've got Goes in Match in case he's on like Rulers. This will really hose him there. And then we've got Skill Drain in case he's on something like the Raccoon deck because Skill Drain can just make it so that our guys are just bigger and we're going to win the game. So let's go ahead and ruin Gage's day. Let's not make you wait any longer, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0, Alex. It's time to duel. 5-0, Alex. 100-0, Alex. Well, Gage, uh, just like that, you're on the verge of a banning again. Uh, the new challengers better have helped you out a bit. How are you feeling? Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> I hope the new challenger brings a new energy. I definitely need to come back again. I couldn't believe I let Age of Gage slip out of my fingers so quickly. I mean, it has to come to an end at some point, right? You know, as the season one winner, I can't let you take the lead too far ahead. And so we'll see what happens. Uh, new challengers, a bit of an interesting set. There's some cool stuff in there, but uh, core sets, I feel like but as we go further, the real interesting thing is that we're become, playing like, fucking black one. Overall, how strong they are. It's no duelist alliance. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think the, the main thing that you start to see is a lot of the core sets build off of prior core sets, yeah. and the, like the, the archetypes introduced in them. And it doesn't help that all the archetypes have like super high rarity, like integral cards like locked behind something that you can't get. So uh, it kind of sucks that way. You see a lot less like generically good cards that are easy to get. But um, yeah, we'll see a lot of better ones alike, like later down the line, I think. That's what the side sets are for at the end of the day. So let's out the patron. It is Spiky Howard. Thank you for the support. Rock, paper, scissors, my friend. Let's see how it goes. Damn, and we're ahead one. of let's normal playtime by like I gotta be minutes. honest, I kind of wish let's go. one because I didn't want to pick, but I'll go first. I guess it seems <laughs> to be the move. So let's see how it goes. Best of luck. Seems like a, a good choice. All right. Good luck. Oh. All right. Let's go. Stand by me. Let's start with Pot of Duality. Oh yeah, my okay. God. I'm going to need you to brace yourself. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm, I'm ready, bro. I'm, I'm, I think we're a little bit past the... <laughs> wow! No way! With the Whirlwind 2, you opened Shura for sure as well. By the way, like, you had to have. I told you to brace yourself, buddy. I told you whirlwind, to brace yourself. Let's go ahead and fire whirlwind that Whirlwind Bora? Yeah. Let's fire a second one while we're at it. Oh, my God! Oh. Can we double Whirlwind? Can we go double Whirlwind? Whirlwind? Is that fine? the Poison <laughs> Wind. Whirlwind. That is, uh... <laughs> Insane. What are we getting? I was about to say, I don't know how fine it is exactly from your perspective, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go and grab ourselves a, a uh, blizzard, and let's also get blizzard. ourselves a good old friend of yours. Like Where is Gale? he? You know him, Gage. You'll love him. Oh, we're gonna pass on right, that, of course. Yeah. Okay, I'll draw it. Um. <laughs> oh man, let's see what I can do. Bro. <laughs> it's oh, fucking God. over. It's over. There's nothing he can do here. <laughs> So I gotta beat a Kalu and a Blizzard on the crack back now. Huh? Oh, Watch you gotta beat a Maxi 2014. too. How could Blackwing possibly compete? You have no idea, bro. Literally, in my Astral Packs, I pulled a Pot of Duality and I said, We're past the prime of Pot of Duality. Here you are, you're playing it today. So cool. it's always, there's always something. Is that really it? Is that what I'm gonna do? You don't sound confident. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't. Um, 
but it does seem like the best play. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna start with Balan Boxer Headgear. Back on the Boxers. Back okay. Back on the Boxers. This bro. is gonna Back be an interesting game. Yeah. All right, I get to send a Balan Boxer from Deck the Graveyard. So what you I'm do. gonna do is I'm gonna send a Switch Hitter, and uh, he's gonna go to bid. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna activate Soul Charge. I'm only gonna pay a thousand. Oh, oh, this is going to get so much worse for you. Oh, my God, bro. Why, why don't you just have everything, huh? Oh, oh my God. Go ahead. Make your lead yoke. Make your lead yoke. Give you me another to, card. You, you think to. that's what I wanted to, to make here? No, I'm going to make friggin' Exciton Knight. Okay, I'll draw. Oh, well, Max is helping out here. Oh, my God. Takes care of the board, we right? are going to get triple so, colluded. During my main phase, I will activate it here. I'll put the switch here to grave. I'll wipe your board. Clean up. Yep. Take care of the double whirlwind. I now have a blizzard that I gotta beat. And, and three colludes. And an unknown, two unknown draws now. Wow. It'll be three unknown draws. That's actually. the we'll SEMO difference, by the way. What this is the protagonist the power. Is like, you're gonna draw to six, and you're gonna have more cards than me. So you, like, really can't do too much, I don't think. And then this dumb idiot. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna set everything. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I'll set three cards, and I'm still feeling confident behind my Evil Swarm Excite on Night. What, are you going to activate and blow up your own field. board? Trust me. Trust me on this one. I mean... Okay, I'm trusting him. I get it. I Kind of. All right, it's a I'll draw. block. Oh, my God. Stand standby me. We can't really... Maybe we do do it do here. I get it? Oh, I'm kind of confused now. All right, let me think here. I mean, you're playing Boxer, so, I mean, you probably have, like, some back row, which is fine. What if I just duality again? That's yeah. Fun. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Show oh, me how good Oh, that those card are pretty is. good. <laughs> those are all really good, actually. Yep. Uh, all right. Which of these do I want? It's the got to be Icarus, right? Like, clearly, if you're setting three, you feel like you have enough protection for your Exiton. I mean, granted. Are we just dead? As an oh you shit button, seven. you could just wipe the board whenever 2, you feel like it. So it's not plus like it's the end of the world. 14 plus 14 I'm plus 14. I'm going to. I'm Nab up this Icarus attack. Powerful no, card. Okay. Off. Respectable it's not, choice. It's not as good when you know about it, obviously. No, but, definitely you know. not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am just going to go set, 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 and throw it to you. Play right into your infirm columns. Okay. During the end phase, I will space typhoon. I'm going to go for this 50 50. Ooh. I better hit this Icarus attack. I'm going to go okay. one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll roll the dice. Just going to roll one. it. All right. Okay, so oh, it's this one here wrong. closer to the deck. Is it the Icarus attack? Did I get lucky? You sure about that? Oh. I am sure about that. That's the one. You're yes, a lucky man, yes, Gage. You You're a lucky hit. man. All right, all right. I like it. I'll draw for turn. Stand by main. Are we good? We're making it there? You're good. Okay. All right. Off the top, it's pretty good, man. I'm a greedy guy. I'll yeah, he can't chance. really excite yeah, time that really despite I the fact that, that it would contest so, the torrential because he set two like a dumbass. Your soul charge is gone. That's limited, so I feel at least good about that. It is limited now, huh? All right. Um, you know what? Last back row. I'll clean it up. Get rid of it. Oh, Damn, it's double over. MST strong. It's over. Huge, huge. All right. What is this face down now? What are you setting against me? I mean, nothing, nothing crazy, right? I'll just go summon glass draw. Sure. And then I'll go battle phase. Nineteen with the exciton knight. It's the collute that you knew All about. All right, no doubt. And then two K direct. Two K is fine. Thank you. Awesome. I'm feeling pretty. I mean, Gage is in a now. commanding position here, but if I know anything yeah, about Alex, you can't count him out on Black clean. Wings. They helped you out a bit. Oh here. my uh, fucking we'll go draw god! Stand by main. How Let's does he do it? Blizzard. Thinking here. Hold on. How does he do it? How does he do it, man? How does he do it? Too making the exiton. He's so good. You know, this has got to be. This has got to be insane. He's gonna fiendish chain or something stupid. Unless you have a second one. Um, no, this seems. Delectable. I will fiendish chain your, Ew, your blizzard. The annoying. Fiendish chain the blizzard. Yuck. Yeah. Go. <laughs> oh yeah. The quickest pass in the game. I'll draw for turn. Stand sure. by main. That's probably like the best draw out of my deck. I will activate. Activate. I'll normal summon battle and boxer headgear, oh. and then I will activate his effect. That's pretty good. It is yep. very good actually. I will dump from deck to graveyard here a glass jaw, and then glass jaw triggers. I get to add one from graveyard to hand, so I'll get back that switch hitter. Sure. A little bit of follow-up. All right. I'm right. thinking just go in battle phase with all these. I can make a lead yoke to beat Kalut. That would be pretty tough. Um, that is insanely tough. That is what I'm going to do. I'm going to overlay these two, and I'm going to go into... At least he's, like, Land playing Land. around the second Kalut. He should know that Alex has four in his hand. So I'm going to go lead yoke. Okay. Sure. Okay, I'll go battle phase, lead yoke first. Yuck. 
Uh, yeah, it's fine. So I'm going to take, was it nine? nine? Yep. And then Phoenix Chain goes to Graveyard, and then I'll do you 19. You would never do this, but for the Gores. I'll take it. I've got Gores. Oh, you've had it. So bad, dude. <laughs> How do you always have this card? Well, he's got two of them. <laughs> All right. I'm not, like, super stressed about the Emissary of Darkness. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll just pass to you. Go ahead. I was about to say, like, it's not the best Gores, but it's, like, it's fine. For all things considered. All right, we'll go main one here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I got a back row I've got to worry about. You also have a switch Oh, you know what's fucked up is if we normal the blizzard pre-combat, it turns on the Exciton uh, Knight. Which is annoying. Unless we sink her off uh, into Let's six. go blizzard effect. Yeah, we'll be fine. Thinking here. What are you targeting, I guess? Uh, Bora. Yeah, I'll allow it. Go ahead. Bora, Bora, here. Bora, Bora. Bora hits the field. Anything here? Nothing here. All right, uh, let's sink her Let's make our good old friend Brio. Thinking here. Yeah, kind of forced my hand here. I will use the judgment. That's a sick yeah, judgment. Yeah, it wasn't like a chain. You might be that trying to That was an insane judgment. Think about the best way to deal with that. That's fine. Um, that was a great play from Alex, we too. We will throw this Having Brio in these attack. formats where Brio wasn't okay. historically just, like, and changes just everything. You're lucky we have the same amount of cards. Could you imagine if I, I kind of planned it that way? I kind of planned it that way. <laughs> yeah, I'll, you know what? I'll take the 800. No problem. It'll go to graveyard. Sure. And uh, I'm just going to chill. Okay. I will draw. Stand by me. All right. Well, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward to me. I'll normal summon. I'm actually shocked they didn't ban back. Brio. Yep. I'll summon Glass. Shimo's playing back. so well. I should hope so. Sure. I don't I'll think he's ever played a deck yep, better than this or uh, more frequently than this one. And then I will go battle phase. Ugh, we're just going to try and token. get over them. Tokens out of here. We, we take eight here, right? We just and take a five. If you attack me, they get bigger. I can crash one and make it bigger, but... Threaten it immediately. Do more battle damage you take 16 you doing that. I don't think it's doing too you're much. You're so I'll low, set yeah. it back, bro. There's no way to do that. And, uh... I don't know. I'll pass turn, bro. Okay. I'll draw. <laughs> um, that Stand by doesn't main. help, actually. Oh, uh, I totally read this card wrong, actually. I totally had this out. That's all right. I'm just going to set one and pass. Over to you. Okay. Um, draw. Yeah. Okay, I'll go battle phase. Sure. I'll put this one into your gores. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. So damage, I take 500. And then I'll detach yep, from detach. this lead yoke, boosting this guy up. Oh! That's why I read it correctly last Oh, time. I didn't even realize it worked like that. Um, and I'm actually. Oh, that's yeah, sick. I actually. Oh, yeah, wow. Really wow. Yes, yeah, we're learning together, bro. We're learning together. I'm actually yeah. going to detach. Well, I mean, let's be honest. It's not common that we have two legends yeah, right? out on the field. Wow. I'm, I'm learning much draws, today. So Blast Draw's effect puts back headgeared. Sure. Okay. Uh, mm. And then this one has an attack, so I'll go 3,000 into this guy. You have a deep prison? Sure. If he you cooked a little. Change the stats, too. That's fine. I'll oh, take yes, three. I will. Damn, we should have won. <laughs> Whoops. Let's fully I hope we still win. It's going to feel bad if we didn't. Yeah, of course. Best feature Dueling Book has ever added. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Go ahead, your turn. You know, unfortunately, okay. I think any name Drop. does it. Stand no shot. Into the don't main. you don't you go to your uh, fucking don't you go to your fucking graveyard? There's no way he has like seven, right? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? Yeah, you got this one. Oh, oh my god! Oh he was my a, god! He was about to get out of it to too. It was a pot of greed. Oh, it was a pot man. of greed. That's all right. I'll take the game. My one. god! All right. You did that play in Prague playoffs. What do you mean you didn't know Gage, you could do that? The sad part about Prog that is you were is so I did the entire thing in a fugue <laughs> state. I don't remember a second like a, of Prague playoffs. I was watching it back actually, the other day. And I was yeah. like, wow, Black we're talking a lot about sissy there. hypno. You all <laughs> watched so this? That's how the game goes sometimes, unfortunately. That's how the this game goes. This hand is unbelievable. Uh, so we'll just go standby main here. I'm going to go normal Shura set one pass. Hey, man, if you feel safe doing that, I'll draw Shuffle my hand. Let's go stand by me. All right, Alex. Check me out. Okay. I think that's... Uh, you know what that is, that back row? That is an Icarus attack if I've ever seen is it. Is it? It's, it's, the, it's the... Engage's defense. This is a super telegraphed Icarus attack. That Simo is just good. He's just nice with it. Most icky attack I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to... Please read Farfa's question. What the fuck is Sissy Hypno? <laughs> All right, Farfa. I'm going to send you some videos. Start with Potagree just to 
to get a couple more cards out of my deck. Rub some salt in the wound. Yeah, yeah rub sure. some salt. Give me an MST to deal with it. The next time you see Farfa, he is going to be a, a swaggering bimbo with enormous breasts. No, not quite. I what should not I have Googled that. Go to images. Go to images. What if, what if, what if I just <laughs> don't put two cards on the field? What if you don't? It's possible. Ooh, what Farfa, you That's the question. You I, like I don't playing you black wing. You know what? I'm gonna fuck up, be a good you, duelist, and go to okay. the damage what step for mommy. Back, okay, go ahead, your turn. All right, I'll draw. I'm uh, normal. For 18. Yeah, I'll take it. That's all I do. I figured that might be all you do. Not even worried. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Shuffle my hand. Sissy Hypno that makes you a combo right. player. You all right? I'll put some cards <laughs> on the board. Let me activate reinforcement of the. Army. If any of us has go the ahead, ability the to hand, manifest right? that into the reality, you know, one so of us in this chat now. writes. For a battle living. and boxer sparrer from deck. Sure. <laughs> and then I'm also going. To Wait, we could even use the old the uh, of the, other one. the old the old Nim Nim uh, series title combo gasm. Yeah, <laughs> freshly at three. This Folks. wasn't a mistake or anything like that. This was no. perfectly fine in in 2015. Yeah, I would never post cringe. And uh, everybody says it could come back to three today, right? It's funny Wait, because, cooking. like, back then, it wasn't even the best deck that was playing yeah. three rows. No, it was, we're like, the fourth big best deck. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're like, oh, a big pot of $50 bimbo soup. And everyone's like, oh, this search is Colossalus for, for Necros. Uh, I mean, Sateller, yeah. Sateller's a thing. Colossalus. <laughs> Let's see here. I added a Photon Thrasher, if you didn't see, by the way. <laughs> I saw. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to special that Photon Thrasher. Sure. I'm going to Normal Summon Headgear, and I'm going to use his effect. Okay. I will dump a switch hitter with the headgear. I'll just max see you here. Make you CJ, I one. never said that I so wasn't a gooner. You chose not to. I mean, because you would just not summon it then. That's true. You're allowed to be uncomfortable that I just said those words out loud. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to go exceed these two. Yep. I'm going to make Laval all chain. Oh, wow, he's Draw doing good here because uh, you want to do anything boy, yet? oh boy, I'll would um, lead Yoke have gotten cooked chain. by that prison. I'll detach headgear, and I'll use the effect to send. Sure. Okay. I will send head... Oh, sorry, wrong one. Glass draw, and I'm going to use his effect since he was sent by a card effect. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to add well, back can switch you, hitter. What does this so have to do with henchmen? Do no, I'm gonna activate that's the thing is, Sissy Hypno in the context of progression playoffs, wow, means activating um Cauldron of the Old Man. And gooning in the context Three. of progression playoffs and means being a fan of Brent. Uh, go ahead, Alex. Your turn. The wow, he's not even going to attack. Oh, stars, my God. I, I just hate that this is what the deck has become. Uh, I'll draw. Oh, we've so got a great main, grip, but uh, uh, nothing to do until okay. that Shura goes to grave. Attack. On attack deck. If he prisons here, we lose. Oh, okay. my God. Uh, no, you can proceed to damage that. We're crashing. Okay. Um, he's letting it go. Perfectly fine with that. Uh, second main. God, that's awful. Let's just... No, you have to go for Blackwing card. Blizzard the Farner. Okay. Oh, you can't because of the fucking Shadow Imprisoning. We're really going to die to double floodgates? I'll Pee on my in. butthole, dude. You just animal. Pass. animal. Just, just pass. Pass. You're on KC's Shadow Imprisoning oh. there. You know Look at you I complaining about Maxi. You got oh, two no, floodgates right. in the back row. Shut the fuck up. All right, I'll summon the switch hitter. I mean, I'll that's glass draw. I literally don't even oh. know these guys' names, bro. I'm just putting. Hold up! Field. You don't think Wait. when you play boxer. You Shadow Prisoning Mirror is yeah, hand yeah, or right. graveyard or a field or graveyard. He's just too insane, Alex. Like he's just he's too good. And I'm gonna give you the other card for that. So I'm I appreciate go it for Mr. Yoke. I'll take another card. Unfortunately, we're getting uh, mega I'll prison. Just battle phase with him. Twenty-two. E prison. I will wiretap. Oh, that's pretty damn good. Sure, oh, pretty bad oh, deck, why don't you? And I'll take twenty-two. You win. That's good, but uh, we have another one. I'll go to the, my main phase two. I will set up another face down, and I'll just pass. Go ahead. Still got spar and. Oh hand. come on! He yeah, found all three all. prisons. Come uh, on. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Uh, I mean, under shadow. Oh, this is unfortunate you know, because you always get normal. gores here. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. So you, Let's get... You have to get Blackwing Kalut the Moon Shadow. Yeah, no problem. Would it be surprising to you if I told you I'm not even scared of Kalut? The card that has terrified me for almost two seasons straight? The, the fact that you're on Boxer, I mean, you have a reason not to be terrified of Kalut. He only has two prisons. He seven. drew it off the okay. top. Oh, oh, my God. You don't have a second one, I don't believe. I'll go attack with Lead Yoke. Of course, he activate the one that you no just No way. He had the second one. Um, <laughs> uh, you have the second wiretap? <laughs> I have a judgment. 
which will take. Oh, it. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. I'm up a game. I'm up a game. I'll take the risk. We're really gonna uh, die. All right, and that one's going to <laughs> me when I make a bad play. I'm up a all game. Right. I'm up a game. Your move again. All right, I'll draw. I gotta ask, do you all do that? My main. Uh, when you're up a game, do you play the second game like super high roll and aggro? Uh, we. That's definitely one of my biggest weaknesses. Pick. I do the uh, fuck I'm out of that. I'm going to set one. Throw it back. Okay, I will draw. You're definitely not supposed to. Alrighty then. So that last back row is like probably nothing, I want to say. I'll go if with uh, <laughs> Battle Boxer Switch Hitter, and I'll use his effect. Maxi. Yeah, yeah, I bet, bro. <laughs> I, no, <I'm> <laughs> I, I got to double check the twos in the graveyard. I do have DD Crow. Oh! Ooh. Damn. Yep, that works. Yeah, darks can be used from the hand. That is still they can. a real thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is his face down? It was Kalut last time. It could just be another meat shield this time. I'd expect it to be. Unless it's like Hain Hain, that would go ballistic. That would be Hain insane. Hain. I like Penguin I like Soldier how Boy. Hain Hain is at the top of your mind when Penguin Soldier exists. Yeah, I know that's no Why would I just bounce radar. one? That's not your side deck for sure. It isn't. <laughs> um, for the rest of this, turn. if you do, you cannot conduct your battle phase for the rest of this turn. Can you summon Sparrow in main phase two? You can. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. All right then. Yeah. I'm, what am I worried about? I'll go battle phase, and um. Don't even know what the largest defense is. I'll play. It's stupid that you can, though, right? They shouldn't print restrictions like that. Like, there should never be a restriction on a Yu-Gi-Oh card that makes you go, am I allowed to do this? I'll play it safe. Whatever. I'll go it should be intuitive. Uh, D-Prison. Oh. <laughs> oh. How did you have all those D-Prisons? There's no way. <laughs> he drew one. <laughs> Ow. Dude, you have three of them back to back. What is this game? Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I'm upset about it, but that that's fine. <laughs> and then <laughs> I, I will still attack this face down. This was a blizzard. Okay, okay, yeah. blizzard. It does get over blizzard. Blizzard has zero. What a weenie. All right, I'll special summon Spar. Oh, wait, am I under Maxi? No, I'm not. <laughs> you, you are not <laughs> yeah. under Maxi. I made the joke, yeah. but no, you are not under He Maxi. was like, oh, wait, am I so I'm gonna go, technically under Maxi? Yeah, special that, and I'll put in another lead joke here. Sure. I've, the only D prison you have left, Alex, is the one I shuffled in. So if no, you no, no. That one and you no, he's out. More D prisons, we're gonna have a problem. Go ahead, your turn. <laughs> yeah, I'll draw. Uh, oh, yeah. holy shit! Oh, we go for it, right? We have to go for it. Yeah, I don't know, man. This Kaiser Coliseum. He's thinking about. It. He's like, do like, I fucking go? It's for like it? I put you in hell. Like, <laughs> this sucks. Yeah. This sucks. Don't remind me. <laughs> Brain con. Yes. Special dad. Um, I have to. I will torrential. We lose. We get to protect with lead yoke. Uh, sh sure. We so lose. That goes. I detach off your lead yoke. We normal blizzard. We lose. Honestly, just we lose. Normal blizzard. We Man, lose. That's really unfortunate, isn't it? That is. <laughs> Look at He's like, I can't uh, believe this. Yeah, How did we lose yeah, from a position of KC Shadow I, I, and Oh my god, no, Brain Con bailing me out. Literally, Fuck. do not ever count Alex out on this fucking deck. Do not ever count Alex out on this deck. Okay, one more. One more game. One more game. Yeah. Okay, I have to pee really bad. I'm so sorry, and I need water. I will be right back, and we will watch Simo take the easiest game three I've ever seen in my life.
Cat, by the way. Thanks to you, I had to explain the Joe Cat drama to my wife. She doesn't need to know that shit. The brain con definitely bailed you out there. I think you had no other shot besides yeah. like somehow Deserved? some miracle like that. So ban that guy. Who said that? Deserved? Your perma your perma band. My wife deserves only the best. All right? Now I might deserve that, but she's done nothing wrong. Uh, you know, count your blessings, Alex. I'll be going first this time, so you better hope I don't see Shadow imprisoning turn one again. Yeah, as long as you don't have, like, I, I Good don't know, like, it could time. go really poorly for me here. So let's All right, just how do I unban him? Best, Best of luck. I'll go stand by me. Wait, that added another five. Thing. I don't know how to unban I'll just him. go set unban. one, there we go. two, three. That's my turn. Go ahead. Just nice deck. Okay. Uh, I'll draw. <laughs> you know what? I like your play so much do i like set play? mst icarus <laughs> attack <laughs> it was a good pass. play i don't i you don't want to play you uh, i'm just gonna set one and pass Let's see what she just does. a humble one i'll just get rid of it all right Ooh. oh all right okay i'll drop for turn Let's we're see gonna get fucking I'm doors on switch hitter. sure and i'll just go battle phase 15. i'll drop gores Every fucking time. No way! <laughs> he's, he's, he's so get, mad! I love back it! back into the deck! Get that card out of your hand! How do you have it every <laughs> single time? This is like... Do you forget it's a two now? Well, yeah, now I know it's a two! Now I... Okay, <laughs> wow! God, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, go ahead. I can't believe right. it. Every fucking time. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll put these guys to attack. Yeah, I let's, bet you uh, will. Let's get cooking. Yeah, I bet you will. Okay, all right. I'll take... What is this? 12? Yep. 12 and 15. Yeah, I'll take 15. We are. Uh, I can't second we're main. Lose to this. I'll just set one. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Oh, yep. good draw. I will normal summon, switch hitter, and then I will use. Okay. I want you all to see if you can pinpoint the moment the gauge loses the will to live. Ready? Use his effect. Maxi. <laughs> Look, you can see the moment where his heart rips in half. Switch hitter, and then I will use his effect. Maxi. Oh my <laughs> god, bro, cut me a break! I mean, he's on the field now, right? All right, what am I doing now? I ain't just gonna leave him there. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna sure right. I'm gonna exceed these guys, and I oh. will make. Do I make? Yeah, I have to. I'm locked in the battle in boxers. So yeah, far, the boxers. Alex's deck has looked like Gores and uh, I will. Thank you for and Maxi You're Turbo. Yeah, no oh, problem, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go battle phase. I'll attack in your token. You just sound so happy. About I, it. I'm not so. thrilled about it, bro. It's like the card is so <laughs> so. This is a pain in the ass to deal with. I'll go main phase two. I'll add a back row, and I'll pass. Mm. Go ahead. Okay, I'll draw. Mm. Stand by main. I'm gonna duality. Okay. Oh. Wow. oh those are good oh, ones. No, those are good ones. Wow. Okay, well, pot of greed would be anything. Uh, you've had pot of greed for. What if every we pot of greed into set. Maxi? I do like Maxi defensively, but honestly, you already have lead yoke set up, so I don't exactly know. Yeah, what take I'm pot of greed. Fuck it. We want more back row. Find us more dimensional okay. prisons. I can also just use the pot to draw Maxi. Right. Do, do <laughs> <shuffle> <laughs> he does it. I'm gonna shit my phone. Okay. How many you want me? How many times you want me to shuffle? Tell me what to Give me three more shuffles. That's, that's One, perfect. One, two, three. There you go. There. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Fire it. Yep. Oh! Uh, you got seven cards in hand. You are cooking right now. Yeah, it feels pretty good. <laughs> and you can't complain. You're already pot of green. Yeah, you, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> this is what? the Alex Simo go. difference. I don't know what else to tell you. Go. This is the Alex Simo I difference. Set. That's set, why he's the go. Set. Set. Oh, oh my God. God. Imagine okay, being Gage. Draw. Tell you what I'm not doing anymore. I'm not gonna attack into your silly little D prisons. <laughs> that's, that's I don't know if not, you have a choice, buddy. Doing anymore. Um, I'll just pass. Um, passing. That's End fine. Phase, I'll Icarus. Oh, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna target two of your back row. <clears throat> you go after this one and this one. I mean, I'll chain it. I'll just wire tap. Oh, sure. God, wiretap is so important. Is that's job, good. I think that's good enough. Okay, I, I trust right, you there. All right. Just checking. Just checking. <laughs> all right, I'll go. Oh God. 
Stand we back. are going to go off. I'm gonna Holy shit. Okay. Oh, we have another Icarus. Let's try this again. Back row. Yeah, it'll clear this time. Oh. 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 Sick. And now the PS de resistance. Attack on attack deck skill drain. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, you're not the only one with floodgates. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> How's it feel? Not great, bro. I'm not smiling. I'm not oh, <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Oh, so, yeah, I'm going to take 500. What a bad episode. This is Kino. I'm sorry. This is peak. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life. Off. I had to bait out all those fucking wire taps. Now I understand what it's like rooting for Alex. <laughs> yeah, you look at yeah, all those yeah, ranked I'm fours. Yeah, 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 I'm looking at Don't do anything. I can't believe this. Now you know how I felt Crazy box would go crazy here, by the way. Dude, all right. Trying to beat your rulers with all these fucking dinky rank I, fours. I, I have like a, I have yeah, like a two and eight bro. winning record with that ruler deck. Don't even bring it up. I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't know how. I'll just pass. Go ahead. Okay. Oh! Yeah, 27. Go. He's, he's not even going to do it. He's not even going in. He's I'll like, whatever. One, I'll set another fellow there. Go ahead. Your turn. Draw. Oh, do we commit Stand here? Surely. Whirlwind. Yes. Aura trigger whirlwind. Just go grab Kalu. Uh, Yes. I'll, ch I'll chain the shadow imprisoning. Whatever. I'll get it out of here. Sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll get... Go ahead, Kalu. Uh, get Kalu. Under Bora. It's fine. I'll get Gale. Uh, you know, we could get Gale yep. and Special Gale. Yeah. Special Gale. Yep. Uh, battle. Yep. Go... What the fuck? I know... I think Headgear has like 1,800 defense, so I think I have yeah, to attack yeah, with yeah. Gores. I will fiendish chain the Gores. Okay. okay. Uh, Bora in. It's bigger. <laughs> By a hundred. Or is it? Slightly bigger. That's kind of annoying. I'll collude this. I just want to get it out of here. Uh, you're shadow imprisoning. Doesn't affect the hand. Oh, it's fucking not the yeah, hand, yeah, I'm bro. So sorry, yeah. buddy. Oh, man. All right. Wait, hold yep. up. Wait, chat's correct. You definitely can't fiendish chain while skill drain is up, right? It is. It doesn't have a legal target? Wait, actually, let me check what Fiendish Chain says. Uh, no, you can. It's an also. So as long as it can accomplish one of the two, you can. Uh, 13. Uh, second main. I'd like to be able to do something else here. I guess I'll sink these off. I didn't have a seven worth making. Oh, yeah, Armor Master's legal. That's right. All right, go ahead. No doubt. <laughs> I'll draw. <laughs> I'm not used to prog Armor Master being a thing, to be fair. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I, this time I seen my side deck cards and I still haven't. I can't fucking beat you. How did we lose that second wow. game? Yes! <laughs> I had this. Is Alex, your check is in the I mail, buddy. Oh, boo! Drain. Boo! Oh, when you bro, had I... skill drain used against you, it's just a tearjerker. <laughs> yeah, oh, Mr. Gore's every game. game. Okay. Oh. I, I know you all want to fucking whine about, uh, about Blackwing. And let me get. Let me be honest. You should be whining about Blackwing, but <laughs> they didn't do anything this match. It was fucking Gore's, the Gore's Maxi show. They were just oh, extra Gore. copies oh, of MST no combined with Icarus now, Attack. Right? I didn't. I thought nobody played that card anymore, but <laughs> this is it's progression It's okay. If you would have tried to do anything, I think you would have actually quit if you saw me drop another oh, Maxi. Oh my god, bro. I did draw it off the pot. I want to hear him. Way. I want to hear him say that I picked I, the man, third maxi. Let me tell you, dude. Like, if you would have gotten two less cards every game because you didn't draw maxi, <laughs> we would be looking at something very different. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Also, you were wise not to attack because I did have defense. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Man, yep. bro. Yep, yep, really, yep, yep. everything. I can't believe you flipped three <sighs> deep prison on me last okay. game. Oh, that was such a really good game. Holy off. shit. You want me to really piss you off? Why not? I, I, only, have t I only have two. You I drew it again. <laughs> you drew it. <laughs> Pretty so sure I it. I'm you so glad it. he told him. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe that. I also That's think Simo so outplayed Gage so hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Legitimately, Simo was yeah, yeah, did. quite good like at Blackwing. like five million times, too. Damn, I, just, I really wasn't destined to win he this He, like, one. played it historically. <laughs> it it, it's his <laughs> closest he's wow. ever gotten to a YCS oh top was he was in a win and in um, uh, with Blackwing yeah, no, in, like, 2011. Yeah, no, looking at your hand, though, you had, like, a decent opening, all things considered, but, like, once this <laughs> lead yoke got outed, then you were in trouble because you just didn't really have much follow-up. The fact you had to go, like, switch hitter into switch hitter was just kind of rough. Yeah, and I think, like, the last game... Admit, I want to hear the third maxi, like, come on. And then you have... Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, when I realized... Like, the long note pop-up. And I can hit over it. Things that 
Because as long as I got it's like my I, I do wow. have the MSTs in here. Uh, they got a, a new challenger deck. Three Rota challengers. I got a Joel. I got a Ver. Anything else. Yeah. <laughs> the best one. I should all have to reconstruct or something. Like, okay. Well, it is what it is. So Yazi was honestly like the best. There may have also been a particular reason, Gage, that you were seeing Max C so much this episode. And that is because on the wheel, I spun a secret rare wild card for legendary collection wow! 5D. Wow! So. So you we got are now third. playing with three max. That is so cool. When does this card get limited? Tomorrow, please. Let me <laughs> no. Know. It is several years. No. First, it'll go to two. Then it gets limited, and then it ultimately gets banned. So Look I thought, you know he's, what? He's the next like brow. twenty or so episodes of Prague, like, If I get one more max C than Gage, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Man, I, I can't believe. Gage, I don't know if you're in chat, but I have to. T you have to ban this fucking card. <laughs> you you can't let this keep happening. Le legitimately <laughs> let's see if gage is around he's probably he's probably passed the fuck out oh yeah he's filming they filmed during this time which is so annoying oh here we go hello 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 Hello? Hello? Hi? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't know what was going on. How's it going? What's up? Uh, you know, it's going good. I, I just wanted to congratulate you on a match well played on this week of Prague. What was this week? Was it was the, the Blackwing week. Oh, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, what year is it again? What set did we open today? Raging oh, yeah. Battle, in, right? Like... In Alex's defense, uh, the Black Wings did not do a goddamn thing this match. It was the Maxi and Gore's show. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. I was so pissed when he showed me he had the third Maxi now. <laughs> That's my favorite card in Yu-Gi-Oh. I, I will say, well, so you're in the banning seat after this episode. Will we see a lot more of Maxi? <laughs> Uh, I don't want to give any spoilers, bro. I would just say uh, tune in next week. Might be surprised. <laughs> we will. We will do so. <laughs> Might be surprised. <laughs> oh, I, well. Um, while I've got you here, uh, you got you got a little bit of time. Just a little bit, yeah. I was about to go live. I uh, I'm gonna do the last part of the DZ collab actually here. Oh, so. oh, oh, oh. Well, that's kind of a spoiler, right? You're gonna clean that fraud's clock, right? Absolutely, bro. I'm gonna cream him. Mm hmm. Well, uh, I'm, before I'm you get cream in, I was going to ask uh, about your feelings on the uh, the DC Cup. What feelings are you going towards? Like, like I, how do I, I just want to know, how, did you enjoy it? Did you have a good time? No, I, I wouldn't <laughs> say I enjoyed it. I, I would say, like, I learned a lot from it. I, I ended mm. up uh, 30,000 points. I yeah, got, you like, got pretty high. 100. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too upset about that. I think I made a personal goal for, like, 300, top 300. But like top five hundred is still a flex. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so. top. That's crazy. Yeah. Don't how you get you, like uh, a different? How did you end up? Oh, I did not. I did not do well at all. I got like 15k day one, and then I just didn't play. And the last day, nice. I started doing the run, and then like I was like, I really can't get that into it. And then I played Lethal Company for five hours, and then I, that's it. How was that, by the way? I, that I'm game is about playing so that game. fun. Is it? I think I might have to pick it up. But it's it's only fun because it, the game is like streamlined to allow you to grief. Oh yeah. Do you think it's like only as fun as like the people you play with? I think typically yes. those are I would not like want to play it with normals. Yeah. Normies, bro. We we got to set something up. Yeah, definitely. Uh is it just on Steam? Yeah. I have to pick it um, up. Um No, <laughs> but um you you didn't enjoy the the 72 hour grind. No, I ended up putting it, I think, like a little bit over 30 hours or something like that. That's which still is like crazy. More than, yeah, more than what I would normally put in. But um, no, I, there, there has to be a better way. Like, I think just afterwards, real, I wasn't even a fan of the format either. And that was a problem, too. Like, I enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! But if I'm not, like, super into the format, like, I feel like it's just a, a, a slog, you know, to try to get what'd through. You, uh, but if I really play? enjoyed the format, I'd play. I played um the Cash Tier Punk deck. Mm -hmm. It's not good, but... Uh, it got me 30k points. I guess it can't Yeah, that, that sounds bad. good to me. 
I heard you were picking up stun and stuff for a little bit. Wow, you were doing. Uh, you were really. I, I did a little bit of evil, but unfortunately, I think I have a zero percent win rate on stun. That stun deck is like. Good help. You, you're kind of playing against yourself, like your body. It's like um. Have you ever had to, like you've you've eaten poison and they make you like drink epicac to throw it up. Well, I can't say I've ever eaten poison before, Joseph, but I, I'm familiar with what you're putting down. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the 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 latter is the poison, and the stun deck is the epicac, and like, you know, it, it takes a lot of skill to not be overwhelmed by the epicac, you know. Yeah, a lot of skill to survive from poison. Very very <laughs> skillful thing. <laughs> it was it was bad. I didn't like it. Uh, it I saw Farfa played it for like six hours, and I was like, dude. Oh yeah, nah. He quit really really early. Like I didn't even think he was gonna do it over the weekend. Like he didn't do it day one, and I didn't expect him to do it. And then he tried doing it day two, and he tried doing it day three, and then he just gave up like two hours in or something like that. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm just gonna be <laughs> like, new father Farfa is like. Ah, uh, you know, I'm just going to leave my kid on the floor for a little bit while I play Runic Stun. <laughs> I think the kid would understand if he was playing, like, a good deck. I think so, too. Yeah. If the format was good, he'd be like, oh, man, yeah, definitely can't miss any yeah, of that Dad, Necros format on, can't on miss Master Vanquish Goal. Soul. I understand. <laughs> this is the time of your life. <laughs> Make but, uh, sure you live it. Runic Stun. Ugh, no. Yeah. It, was, it, was, uh, it was frustrating, for sure. And, you know, certainly the most frustrating part about it for me was, like, floodgates and maxi and best of one yeah no I, like i said if the format was better uh, i don't think i would mind doing the grind as much like if i was enjoying every game i was playing but a lot of games just boil down to well is there a maxi that left unchecked <laughs> okay i probably lost this game i think um i yeah, wish i was really dead was on my team and he kept a log of his losses um to like learn from them or whatever i don't do that whenever i lose it's because uh, my opponent sacked me so there's no reason to uh to check even but I'll say, when, whenever my opponent does activate Max C, though, and I still win the game, like, through it. You feel like Like, you genius. ever have those moments? You're, yeah. You're, oh, my God, bro. The, the, the brain chemicals are going absolutely crazy at that point. <laughs> like, like, it's the, like, um, I am that guy, bro. <laughs> uh, no, but, but he wrote them down, and it was something like, of his losses, 60% of them were just, ah, the minigame didn't work out. Like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's not how it should be. I don't know. If they just ban that card, I think it would be super satisfying. I think a lot, I think a lot of my games would be a lot more enjoyable. Especially your games in Prague, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? That's banned over there, too. God, man. I can't believe the triple maxi. What a goober. Ugh. He drew it off the pot, too, when he dualityed and revealed pot maxi. And he was like, I don't know. He oh. used pot and drew maxi. I didn't even watch that pack. Did he really? Yeah, he did. Yeah, of what? course he did. We saw it happen. It was like, oh, you know that's going to happen. <laughs> typical CMO luck. Yeah, right? Ain't that Alex, right? that's the Alex difference. Ugh. All right. All right we'll right, have man. fun on stream. Got to get started here. Yeah. Uh, wipe that asshole. All right. I will uh, definitely clean it thoroughly. <laughs> All right. Okay, see you, buddy. Have a good day, okay? Realizing wipe that asshole doesn't just refer to wiping Doug, but also wiping your asshole. What a nice young man. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Gage, we're way past Duality's Prime. Simo, oh boy, Duality. Gage, shuffle that extra good. I don't want to see Maxi. Simo draws Maxi. Simo is the only player that can make two D prisons and three Maxis look like 15 cards. <laughs> oh my god. This may as well have been a Duelist Cup match, considering how Maxi was basically the only card that mattered. Triple Maxi in Simo's hands means getting sacked at least one game for the rest of the series. Prog made UA my favorite deck in Master Duel. I hope we run it back. I think we will. Whenever you see Battle in Boxer, you know someone's throwing. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Wonderful stuff. Let us check the prog memes. What are we working with? Simo's list this week be like, <laughs> but it really was. This was enough. I I mean, even the dark arm dragon was just like free special summon guy. It was um, what's his name? Ascendant of Thunder, <laughs> not Dad. Oh man. We want fair gameplay. Let's legacy ban Vandy's. Oh, yeah, brother. Let's have some fun now. <laughs> good good stuff, Kraus. Good stuff. Simo opening the gates of Maxilon. <laughs> Unlimited C works. Good stuff. Good stuff. So are you, like, gay or something? What? What pride flag is that? Anti-art. No one's going to get this. People, all the people who watch Prague just watch Prague. They don't watch Freaks. Oh, my God. They were the MVPs this episode, D Prison Boys. <laughs> oh, wait, Simo only has two D Prisons. The third was because of Wiretap. So, should I come up with a new meme? <laughs> I, 
I I appreciate I appreciate the progression of this meme. I this is this works for me. Thank you so much, Gentle Ice. Oh man, what do we got? Pretty sure I can't be seen. Pretty sure I can't be seen. Once again, a Stab McDreb meme brought to you by Twitter won't let her post. Oh, was she on that shadow ban shit? Deserved. God forbid a woman post is like literally what I'm saying here. Getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And it begins with getting back into Prague. Last time I watched, Gage was starting to come back from a huge deficit. So uh, surely uh, sh he's caught up by uh, now, right? I walk outside with a boner to let motherfuckers know who's the hardest. <laughs> That's me. The new challengers. Where's the new? Simo play Clee Monarch. What if a kid with autism went to the back rooms? Well, you're about to find out. What if a kid with... Thanks, CJ. Gage at the zoo. All right, so here we are, in front of the uh, elephants. Um, cool thing about these guys. Is they... You animal! <laughs> good stuff. <It's laughs> this bug ain't making it out the app. It's time to go. Was I a good boy? No, you ruined progression, Alexander. Do I gotta be honest? I I got to be honest. That's very true. That's very true. Just a wish list for Christmas? No, no. Brain control for lead yoke. Pay 800 life points. Then target a face-up monster your opponent controls. It can be normal summoner set or lead yoke. Take control of that target till the end phase. I'm so sorry, but there is an errata. I made this before I learned about the errata, but I like the idea anyway. <laughs> All timeline prog meme. <laughs> I appreciate you owning up to it. That matters. Uh, rough week for gauge heads. Don't panic. <laughs> I'm glad Duelist Cup Stage 2 is over, so I don't see have to see Maxi in every single game. Time to open up Proc. The Gorge speech when dropping against Gage. Or right, what the fuck is this 53 seconds? Ah, uh, my friend Nim Nim. I see you initiating battle on an empty board. Why would you do that? Just like a Jehovah's Witness, you keep knocking at my door. You always seem to forget my existence. Is this the fucking all for one theme in the background? Do you ever stop thinking that I may be near you? Need I remind you that before the white woman or the rock, I was the one who jump scared. <laughs> but you know me, Gage. I'm more than happy to drop by any time and this time i have some friends with me <laughs> uh that's good that is good that's good oh it's the spot theme from spider verse fuck i don't know why you were complaining about gage's pronunciation i didn't see anything wrong with it perform foul trample links trample onyx who <laughs> enjoys it I love when we get dastardly mustache twirling villain Alex when he reveals his deck. You can see he revels in it. He does. Gage's POV this episode. I stupid. Stupid. Dumb. <laughs> can someone send this to Farfa, please? Oh my god. No prog, but everyone knows we had gay sex in the Senate hearing room. Our lives are over. But we didn't have gay sex in the Senate hearing room. We had gay sex in your ass. Twink acquitted. That's true. That's literally true. In this series, both them. No! Go, go, gadget. Super fucking hard as fuck. TN edit. <laughs> Why do you have this? What? What is this even? What? <laughs> what? Throwing in the towel, the archetype. Yep. See, but so-called free thinkers when Family Guy joke. Look, Maxi is Maxi, but Pot of Greed could be anything. It could even be Maxi. <laughs> it really, is. it really was. Fuck these birds. True. Have you ever tried to punch a bird? 
<laughs> he can put the golden guardian, th one of the, the fucking PK knights on him. Oh my god. Keck wing, collute the moon chat. Good, 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 good. Trampolinks, tramplonics. Just because you are right doesn't mean I am wrong. You just haven't seen life from my side. Thank you. Oh, god damn it. <clears throat> Point, click it. All right, chat. Remember, if this is boobies, it's artistic nudity. <laughs> 